And that's it for this week's show. You know, just a few closing remarks about this week. It's been a tough week. It's been tough on morale. It's been tough to watch the horror unfold in Paris. Frankly, it's been tough to watch the new Congress take office and try to cut Social Security on its first day. Give a giveaway to the big banks on its third day. That was the cut to Dodd-Frank. And there's going to be more to come. It's going to get even worse. Let's be honest with one another. They're going to go after Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. They're going to go after John F. Kennedy's New Frontier. They're going to go after Lyndon Johnson's Great Society. They're going to try to dismantle the social contract we've created with one another, the social contract that made this country great and prosperous for so many decades. So we're going to need to keep our spirits up, folks. We're going to need to keep our spirits up when they go after the environment. We're going to need to keep our spirits up when they go after education or the elderly or the sick. And for that, we always have a man that they also like to go after, but we have a warm spot for, and I'm speaking of the vice president of the United States, Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden was back in form this week. They went after him for it, but listen, I got to say the world's a richer place because he's in it. Vice president was, as they say, Bidening this week. Bidening is the practice of talking like, well, like your Joe Biden. Now, at a swearing-in ceremony in Congress uh, a couple year, year or two ago, he said to somebody, spread your legs, you're going to get frisked. As Steve Carell would say in the office, that's what she said. Uh, I didn't just say that, did I? Okay, anyway, uh, that's how the term biden got into the popular lexicon, and he was at it again at the congressional swearing-in ceremony this week. He told the family of a new Republican senator, I like kids better than adults. Hey, Who doesn't? He also said to a kid, I may be Irish, but I'm not stupid. Now, if I were a kid, I would have no idea to respond to that. And then he said this to a family uh, of a number of children. I don't know what your experience is, but one night when they're like 12 and a half, and he's speaking of daughters, I should add, uh, one night when they're 12 and a half, you tuck this beautiful butterfly in bed, and the next morning there's a snake in the bed paging Dr. Freud. Now, look, I don't know if Joe Biden should be the next president of the United States. Personally, I'd like somebody progressive, more progressive. But I got to say the world's a brighter place because Joe Biden is in it. We're going to need people like Joe Biden to be different, to think out of the box, to give us some fun and joy and laughter and enthusiasm for living because we're in the middle of a great struggle. We're in the middle of a struggle for the future. And if we get too heavy about it, it's going to get us down. So thank you, Joe Biden, for keeping up with the Bidening. Thank you to all of you for listening. I'll make a promise that we'll try to have some fun as we bring you the news and as we analyze the events. We're going to try to look at things from a big picture, but without being heavy-handed about it, I hope you'll join us. I'm Richard R.J. Escal, and this is The Zero Hour.